After releasing Llama 2 a couple months ago, Meta just added something new to the Llama family. This new addition is called Code Llama and is a large language model based on Llama 2 that specializes in code generation. It provides state-of-the-art performance amongst open language models, infilling capabilities, which means code completion, support for large input contexts, and zero-shot instruction following ability for programming tasks. I didn't know what zero-shot instruction meant, so I looked it up. Apparently, zero-shot learning or instruction is when a model can learn to recognize things that it hasn't explicitly seen before during training. Here's an example of that. Imagine you have a set of animal images to be classified along with auxiliary textual descriptions of what the animals look like. With zero-shot learning, an AI model that has been trained on identifying images of horses will be able to predict a zebra even if it was never trained on it. Now that we understand what that is, let's look at what languages CodeLama supports. On Meta's announcement page, we can read that it supports Python, C++, Java, PHP, JavaScript, C Sharp, Bash, and more. Awesome. So, let's see how well it works. Before I do that, I have to download the right one because the repository includes three types of models. The first one is a pre-trained code model. The second is a code auto-completion model. And the third is a fine-tuned instruction model. For this video, I'll be testing the fine-tuned instruction model because we want to be able to give code llama instructions for what to code. I'm also going to use the 7 billion parameter version because the 13 billion blew up my computer last time. Alright, let's get into it. I'll be testing code llama in three different categories. The first one will be algorithms. I will be asking two leak code questions, one easy and one hard. The second category is debugging. I will give code llama some broken code in two different languages and seeing if it can fix it correctly. The last category will be front end design. I'll be asking it to create a landing page and simple HTML and React, and seeing if it looks decent. Let's begin. After downloading the CodeLlama 7B model and changing some of the example code, it's now ready to answer my questions. The first question is to code sum in Python. This is a super famous algorithm problem on LeetCode. Basically, you have a list of numbers as an input and a target number. You have to find which two numbers in the list add up to the target. An easy O of n squared solution is to just double loop the list, find what adds up, and return it. There is also an O of n solution that exists. Let's see if Code Llama can find it. So first I'm going to change it to provide answers in Python, and then I'm going to ask it, write a function that solves the two sum algorithm problem. And let's see what it does. So you see, I said provide answers in Python. And then I also said write a function that solves the two sum algorithm problem. And then the assistant returned this function. If you compare it to what I wrote, it's actually very similar, except for some reason it's returning the indexes. I guess I have to specify that. But let's just ask it if it can find an O of n solution for this. So it didn't understand what O of n time meant. It just gave me the same response. So I'm going to give it a fail for that question because it didn't solve it in O of n time. The next question is a leak code hard question. So I found this question on leak code and it's classified as hard. And given an input string S and a pattern P, implement regular expression matching with support for period and star, where period matches any single character and star matches zero or more of the preceding element. The matching should cover the entire input string and not be partial. So for example, if the input is AA and then P is A, a does not match the entire string AA, and we would have an output of false. So if we had AA and then P equals A star, the output would be true because it matches. So let's just copy this description and see if Code Llama can solve it. And we'll actually be putting it in here and running it and seeing if the solution works. So I put that description in and let's see what Code Llama comes out with. So it gives us a way using the regular expression matching in Python. I do not think this is going to work, but let's see. I'm going to copy this. Okay. So let's run it and see what it says. So we actually did get two cases that were correct, but the first case is wrong. And this is where S is AA and P is A. So maybe if I provide the constraints, it will actually do a better job. Okay. Let's run it and see if it can solve it now that it has the constraints. Okay. There we go. This actually looks like a more proper algorithm. 
So it has the edge cases and then everything else. So let's check it out. All right, so it looks like this one got the first case right, but then the other two cases wrong. So Llama also failed the hard leak code question. So our next category is debugging. I'm gonna start off by giving Code Llama a simple debugging problem. So I found one here that if it runs correctly, it should be showing this output, but right now it's broken. So let's actually see what happens when we try to run this. We can just use this online thing and I'll put this in there and then run it. There's a couple errors here. So I'm gonna take this code and I'm gonna give it to Code Llama and see if it can debug it and fix the problem. So let's copy this in. All right, let's run it and see if Code Llama can fix it. So Code Llama says, the code is missing a closing quotation mark at the end of the string, passed to printf. Here's the corrected code. And then if we copy this code and see if it runs, let's just replace this whole thing, run it, and boom, there we go. This is a buggy program. So Llama passes the simple debugging question. Let's see if it can pass a slightly harder one. So I have this code here where the current minimum value is not initialized. So when I run this with this array, 3, 2, 5, 6, I should be getting 2, but I'm getting 0. So I'm going to take this code and ask Code Llama to fix it. Let's see what it says. It found the problem. It said the main issue with your code was that you were using the variable current min before it was initialized. You also had a typo in the minval function where you were using ai instead of ai minus 1. I don't know if that's really true. So I'm going to take this code and let's see if it works. When I run this, I still get minval 0. Actually, let me fix this size. It didn't detect that, um, that it was initialized wrong. So now the minval is two. I'll say that Code Llama kind of solved that problem, but I actually made an error that it should have detected. Um, this was initialized to three while it had four members. We can just say that Code Llama solved half that problem. Now we're on to the final category. This is just to create a simple landing page in simple HTML and then react and seeing if it looks okay. So I'm gonna change this to give the answer in HTML and then code a landing page for a dog school. Okay, so it coded us a little HTML site here and I'm just gonna copy this code, put it in an HTML file and see how it looks. And we can open our test.html. So there we go, we have a dog school and all it really has is the header, there's nothing else. If I look here, like maybe it got limited because it doesn't actually close. So maybe there is, maybe I have to change the max sequence length to, let's try 1024. Okay, it looks like it actually coded a little bit longer. So I'm gonna change this to, let's just do 4096 and hopefully that gives us the full file. It looks like I don't have enough memory for that. Okay, I'm gonna change it to 2048 then. And I'm out of memory again. So it looks like it takes a lot of memory to get that sequence size out. So I won't be able to see the code for this landing page. That means I also won't be doing the React version. It looks like Code Llama is okay for creating algorithms and solving debugging questions. Personally, I feel like it lags behind ChatGPT. It answered the first algorithm question correctly, but could not change its answer based on the time notation. For the second one, it could not pass all cases. It seems to be pretty good in debugging since it solved one question completely and the other question halfway. Sadly, even though I have 32 gigs of RAM, I was not able to get a long output, so we could not see how a landing page created by Code Llama would work. I'm sure there's a workaround for this, but for now we'll leave it at that. For the final count, I'll exclude those last two questions. So Code Llama solved one question correctly and two questions halfway. I'll give it a 2 out of 4 rating. Do you think Code Llama will get as good as ChatGPT? It seems unlikely, but you never know what the future holds. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.